Hi everybody, it's Claire from Durfin Library here and today we are going to have our monthly author spotlight. And the author we're looking at today is Irish novelist Nae Finchie. And these are some of her books here. She's got 17 novels in total, a couple of plays and loads of short stories. Now the reason that we are recommending Nae Finchie today is because Nae Finchie is what you read when you want to feel positive when you want to feel uplifted and hopeful. It's the reading equivalent of eating comfort food. When you don't really want the adrenaline rush of a murder mystery or the headwork of a psychological thriller, but you still want a really good, realistic, easy read. Mae Finchie herself referred to some of her books as like airport books, but they're so much more than that. They are so beautifully written because it's effortless. The writing is conversational. It's like somebody is talking to you. The dialogue and the narrative just flows. So as a reader, you get that effortless experience, which doesn't take away from how good the book is. It actually is a very difficult thing for authors to do. So if you do want to have some comfort food in the form of books, it is well worth trying. They're mainly set in Ireland, the older ones are from the kind of 1950s onward, right up to the more recent ones that are nearly at the present day. There is friction in the background of the, bu the books. They're not frothy nonsense. They're not light, frothy, nothing books. They have really detailed storylines, multiple characters. There's multiple narrative viewpoints. So you're going to get the roundness of character relationships because you're going to see both sides. You're going to see both motivations. Maeve Binchy doesn't characterise the people in her books as good and bad, or they're evil, they're selfish, they're greedy. You get the shades of human experience. You get the shades of human characteristics. Like Ella in Quentin's is a really moral, upstanding, excellent citizen, good daughter, but she still willingly embarks on an affair with a married man who she knows is married. And you see the repercussions of that. Nobody's all good. Everybody has flaws. And that gives you more in-depth characterisation. And that's what happens in these books. The settings are grounded in realism. And quite often the settings can almost be an extra character. The Copper Beach is centred around the Copper Beach. The Glass Lake. Quentin's is a restaurant. The house in Tara Road is described as coming out and wanting to hug you. And that's what these books are like. And that is why they're such an easy read, because they're so steeped in realism. And they're so well written that you just feel as if you're going along with these people, like they're your friends. A lot of the books are standalone books. The Glass Lake is, Copper Beach is, Circle of Friends is. The later books, the more recent ones, you'll have a couple of recurring characters throughout some of them, which is lovely. Quite a few of the books are open-ended. People aren't getting saved by a prince swooping in. People are having to save themselves. They're having to deal with real situations and work through them themselves. So at the end of Tara Road, Rhea, the central protagonist, her husband has left her, financially destitute just about, and it's does she save her house in Tara Road, this house that's been so central to the whole storyline. And it's quite open-ended, but you know you get the feeling that she's going to be okay. You don't know. But you get the feeling she's going to be okay. But then Rhea reappears in Quentin's and you get to find out more. And that's lovely as a reader. It's like meeting an old friend and finding out how they're doing after years. So I love it when that happens. Relationships in Maeve Binchy books are one of the best things about them. They're really, really intricately, accurately portrayed in depth. Female relationships especially, mother-daughter, sisters, female friendships, the complexities, the insecurities that can arise, the friction that can exist between female friendships, really fascinating to read. Some of the books are quite lengthy, so you, like in The Glass Lake, you'll get Kit, who's the kind of main female character, from childhood right up to adulthood, and all the things that affect her, and all the relationships that affect her. And because you have the multiple viewpoints, you understand so much more. You get such a fuller picture of Kit's life, for example. 
there is a lot of character development, there is a lot of effortless dialogue, there is a lot of beautiful settings. There are so many reasons to read Maeve Vinci. If you've already tried her and you already like her, you could try Kathy Kelly, you could try Patricia Scanlon, they have the same optimism and warmth in their books, um, the same easy reading as well. Um, there's a lot of these books in our libraries, so you can get them out of South Ayrshire libraries without a problem. Or you could also try Marianne Keyes, she has that individualist signature style and also a lot of humour, which you do find in these books as well. So if you don't want to try these, try something else. Bye for now.